Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, CBGB Motorsports. I'm Gavin. I'm Colin, and this is my 2010 Volkswagen Jetta. Recently, my dad was looking online and found some used iBox springs. They were delivered this week, and today we will put them on. With Tropical Fred right off our coast, we want to get these put on quickly before any weather hits us. In this video, we are going to show you how to safely install the rear springs. We'll start off by jacking the car up and taking the wheels off. Let's get started. The lower control arm is held on by an 18 millimeter nut and bolt. First, you must remove the nut and then jack up this lower control arm. Take the tension off the bolt. The bolt stood back right out and then slowly let down the lower control arm. This is the difference between the two springs. Now you can see why the car will sit lower. You need to take the rubber pad off of the original spring and put it on the new spring and then put it back together. Put the new spring into the control arm and push the control arm up until it touches the frame. Then you'll put the jack under the control arm, compress the spring so you can put the bolt in. According to VW Vortex, the torque specs are 53 foot pounds plus a quarter turn. Well, that's it for the rear springs. As you guys can see, it was pretty simple. We showed you the driver's side and the passenger side is exactly the same. Now that the car is on the ground, we have right at about a two inch drop. We are thrilled with the result and cannot wait to do the fronts. If you guys have any questions, ask us in the comments below. And that's it for this video. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and tell all your friends. Your support is very much appreciated.